Hey guys, welcome to Mobile Camera Guide, helping you learn filmmaking and photography on your mobile devices. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to do color grading and color correction right here on the Galaxy S8 or any of your Android devices. We're going to be learning how to do that. I've gone through already a few apps on Android, seeing what's the best app. And I'm going to be showing you here right now what I've seen for best. I'm going to be showing you a paid app. And then I'll also be showing you some free apps um, that you can use to color grade. Now, sorry if the screen isn't necessarily bright. For some reason, S8 doesn't like my camera and therefore it's not very bright. But then when the iPhone comes along, it just whoop, super bright. So dumb S8. I don't know what its problem is. But the first app, the paid app we're going to be going to is Power Director, which, hey, let's open up, can we? Thank you. Which, Power Director, I think, is probably one of the uh, better paid apps for um, just video editing in general. It's the one I use on an Android device. You can get it for free technically. See these quotation marks? Technically. Technically, you can get it for free, but it's going to have that stupid water logo on it and it ruins your video. I paid for it. I think it was like five or six bucks, but I think that's worth it. Um, so we're just going to open up. This is just me sitting in front of the wall. This was just kind of a practice edit, but as you can see. I was just testing to see how it looked, but all we have to do to color grade this is click on it. And then over here, we click the little pencil to edit. We click color. And first we can go to these settings because I think those are probably the best. We've got brightness, contrast, and saturation. Those are the only three settings you really have for the most part, which I mean, as it is, you can still do some kind of color grading. But those are the main settings that you have. And then you do have some pre presets here, like artistic, portrait, scenery. These are just some pre-made ones. As you can see, I'll go through a few of them here. Do a bunch of different things. I don't know, I don't think they're great. The best one that looked best on me was like portrait and then doing, I think, light. That was the one I liked the best, which, I don't know, looks decent. You don't get that many settings. Now, of all the apps I've tried, I haven't found one where you get a lot of settings. Unfortunately, the iPhone kind of kicks Android's butt in this area because actually the iPhone itself has app out of the way called LumaFusion. And LumaFusion is like the super advanced editing software for Apple. So unfortunately, Apple gets the win there. S8, sorry you don't do as well. Uh, but I mean, overall, if you're ready, following the steps that I gave in my other video on how to film cinematic footage, you're gonna already get a very good image. You won't have to color grade it as much. So as long as you're following those steps, you'll be good. You just can't do as many advanced effects. Now for other, uh, of, other, other uh, free apps that you can actually color grade on. Let me just go over here. I believe that's where you are. So a lot of the other free ones, Adobe Clip's one of them. Again, with Adobe Clip, you can't do as many good settings. There's like a few few options you can do, and that's about it. And then with the 3D LUT, um, you are restricted to 720p, which, I mean, I use this. It worked perfectly fine. Ah, photos of Colin. Don't look at those. But in here, you got a lot of options like brightness, contrast, white balance, saturation, and you can do all that. Plus you have LUTs, which again, those are all, I mean, this app is wonderful. It's just you're restricted to 720p. You can even like click on one. You got a, you know, it's kind of dark, but you got a little bar here to adjust how much the effect is applied. But again, you're restricted to 720p. And then we also have Adobe Clip. I mean, Adobe itself is pretty good. Good. There's just not a lot of settings. So again, if you're going free, these two work great. Just remember, you're restricted, uh, restricted to 720p. Adobe Clip, you don't got too many settings to work with color-wise. But again, if you go watch our video on how to make cinematic footage on an Android, you should be fine. Otherwise, if you're really committed, you can all go over and get Power Director for like five or six bucks and use that one because I think that one is probably going to work the best for you. 
But that finishes up today's video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.